Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds the maximum width of a binary tree. First, let us take an example. Width of a tree is the maximum width of all levels. In this example, the maximum width will be 3 which is for level 3. Now, let us see the algorithm which will assist us in finding the maximum width of a binary tree. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 to function max width. So, root will point to 1. Since root is not null, we take a new variable result and initialize it to 0. Note that we use a queue data structure. We pass the root node which is 1 into the queue. Since queue is not empty, we enter the while loop. We have a variable count which stores the number of elements in the queue. Count will be equal to 1 as there is only one element in the queue. The result variable will store the maximum of count and result. So result will be equal to 1 as count is greater than result. We enter the inner while loop and iterate for all the nodes in the queue. Also, we post decrement count. Hence, count will be 0 and we enter the inner while loop. We dequeue the node from the queue. Hence, temp will point to 1 and 1 will be dequeued. In the next step, we enqueue the left and right children of node 1. So, 2 which is the left child of 1 is enqueued. Also, the right child of 1 which is 3 is enqueued. Since count is 0, we exit the inner while loop. We continue with the outer while loop and now count will be equal to 2 as there are 2 elements in the queue. Next, result will store the maximum of count and result. So, result will be 2 as count is the greater value. We enter the inner while loop and decrement count. Now temp will point to 2 and 2 will be dequeued. In the next step, we enqueue the left and right children of node 2. So nodes 4 and 5 will be enqueued. We continue with the inner while loop and decrement count. Now temp will point to 3 and 3 will be dequeued. We enqueue the left and right children of 3. Since left child of 3 is null, nothing is enqueued. Now the right child of 3 which is 8 will be enqueued. Since count is 0, we exit the inner while loop and continue execution for the outer while loop as the queue is not empty. Now count will be equal to 3 as there are 3 elements in the queue. We update the maximum node count value. So now result will be equal to 3 as count is greater than result. Again we enter the inner while loop and decrement count. Now temp will point to 4 and we pop 4. Since node 4 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued. We continue with the inner while loop and decrement count. Next, temp will point to 5 and 5 will be dequeued. As 5 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and we continue with the inner while loop. So, we decrement count. Now, temp will point to 8 and 8 will be dequeued. Since count is 0, we exit the inner while loop and now the queue is empty. So we come out of the outer while loop as well and finish execution of this program. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here n are the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.